Hello, interwebs. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Falchion um, uh, to my Reef Green Nuzlocke. Um, last time, um, we absolutely uh, demolished Misty um, with uh, Gyarados. Um, yeah, like, I mean, not even, like, fighting. Uh, I took a couple of Swifts. It was uh, kind of laughably destroyed uh, by Gyarados, and as I said at the time, um, moral of the story is that if you ever have a chance to catch Magikarp, do it. Uh, and we also taught Water Pulse, because Gyarados doesn't learn any low-level water moves. Um, and we just got some nice coverage. Uh, I really wish, I do really wish that um, I had Bellsprout here instead, and I would be pretty happy with this team. Um, but for the moment, um, this is pretty good. Pretty good. I probably will start leveling up Beedrill, but we'll, we'll see. Um, next thing I want to do is this, I'm just going to reorganize my party from last time uh, to go just descending order and experience. So, so, right, so he has 900, so he's the farthest away from leveling up. So I'll switch these two. So Pidgeotto is the closest to 22, so that's why he's in the back. Um, 125, and yeah, yeah, so, this is cl uh, highest level by experience points as well. Um, alright, uh, let's talk to the bike guy, I think, I don't know what happens to the bike, does he give it to you for free now? Hmm. Maybe we have to go around and do other stuff. Well. Uh, I talked to these guys. I'm wondering, is this lady down here? Did she give me cut? No. She did move, though, so I can cut now. Does this guy give me cut? Hmm. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Unless HMs are caught... I'm pretty sure HMs just go in the TM bag. Doom. And I don't have any HMs. I do not. Both flash and cut are on my radar. Um... Hopefully I didn't lose him. Uh, first thing I want to do, uh, I only, how many Pokeballs do I have? Five Pokeballs. Um, I think that should be enough for this encounter. And then once we go back, I'll grab some Great Balls coming up. Hopefully I have Great Balls. It might just be Pokeballs at this point. So um, I did have to enter this grass twice, but I never got an encounter. Uh, so this is our encounter, Meowth. Interesting. Uh, I have no idea if Meowth is good or not at all. Um, I don't really want to poison thing. Um, I'm just going to Fury Attack. Although that could probably equally go bad. Okay. Never mind. Not that worried. Try Poison Sting. Oh, the Poison Sting's actually pretty weak, isn't it? Let's hope for a Fury Attack. More than two. Critical hit. Just two. Okay, let's try throwing a Pokeball. Oh, he's down. Again, Bell Sprout right here with the Sleep Powder would be pretty nice. Wow. Uh, eight, two. I'm gonna switch out to be safe. I'll switch into Geodude. I don't think there's a lot Meowth can do about it. Again, I could consider. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think these will probably kill, and I don't really want to risk the tackle, so. <sighs> Alright, we'll try one more time. That was pretty nice. I guess we just got unlucky the first time. Should have bought more Pokeballs. It'd be dumb to lose an encounter to this. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Wipe the sweat off our brow. 
meow. Uh, I will call it Matilda after my grandma's cat. Bite me. Okay, that was our encounter. I don't even know what else we could have gotten here. I don't know if there's anything else good. Maybe Rattat or something again, but uh, I don't know. Oh, what am I doing? We don't go this way, because I can't use cut. You know where we have to go? We have to go in the underground tunnel. I remember how to play this game. The underground tunnel. Underground path. Surge is the next gym leader we fight. Nidoran female. I don't have a Nidoran female, unfortunately. Run, um, change it to blue to red to green. I think maybe it's a brown. It's not hard to tell. The darkness. Boom, on to Route 6. Um, is there anything up above us here? There might be items hidden here. Or not. There we go. Ooh, a sit. Ooh! Berries. I don't think there's anywhere to grow berries in this game, but, um, berries in general, kind of nice. I didn't heal after that encounter, uh, but I'm just gonna switch out, um, uh, for Beedrill to level them up. So. Aren't there any bugs out here? Still using Weedle. I might be able to stay in if I really felt dangerous, but uh, I do not. I don't want to. Oh no, not slowing down my Geo Dude. Although it is four levels weaker. Yep, that's, that's, yep, I figured it. I still, we still got some antidotes, so it's not a lot to worry about, but you knew it was going to happen. We've been pretty lucky, actually, so far with the poisons from enemies. Uh, let me just sweep here easily enough. He sends out like a Kakuna or something. Self destruct. Why does self destruct have five PP? Self destruct could be interesting uh, just for like having. I don't know, for, like, strategies and stuff later on, but I think we'll just let it go. Geodude is pretty important for Surge, and I, he's at least good enough for right now to just keep in the group. So, yeah, unfortunately, no Weedle or Kakuna, or uh, Metapod or Kakuna, to send out Beedrill to get some EXP. Oh, well. All right, let us heal ourselves. Actually, you know what? I just realized I once again did not buy more Pokeballs. I definitely want more Pokeballs so I can get uh, another encounter without having to worry about it. So I'm going to go back and heal. That way I don't have to waste potions. Um, and yeah, this is a little tedious, of course, but... Oh well. 
still don't remember exactly where you get cut, but I know you need cut to get to Surge, so. And I have made a habit of talking to everybody, so. Probably shouldn't be worried about it. I don't think I even looked at the Great Balls, so. Got our Meowth encounter. Meowth and Spearow. Two interesting Pokemon. I'm sure you, I'm sure someone smarter than me could probably use them for interesting things. Um, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have to let it sit in the back of my mind and, and just think about it. Uh, so, can I buy Great Balls? I cannot buy Great Balls. Sad. And we bought some more Pokeballs. Wait, 13 Pokeballs should be enough. Uh, we got we got a free Diglett from Diglett's cave, assuming we don't kill it, which definitely would never happen. Definitely never would happen. Never. <laughs> uh, and I did it again. I remember doing that just a lot, just playing this game as a kid, just jumping off that ledge there because you're just head emptying and you're just going down. I don't know, it's just it's just where the path goes, so my brain is like, yeah, you just follow the path. Don't step over into this grass here. Kind of a wacky design. I don't know. These older versions are. Oh, this is a remake of an even older versions, so. I don't think you would end up with wacky stuff like that in newer games. Alright, we are now ready take on some more trainers. Hopefully. This is a duo battle, um, but I think it's avoidable. Yep. Get another bug catcher. Are you good? We shall see. Hopefully this guy has... <gasps> he has a Butterfree! Level 20 Butterfree! Why is this guy like... Uh, this Butterfree has Confusion, which is super effective. I'm gonna switch out, and I'm actually not gonna... Same thing, Confusion, probably gonna go here, so I'm gonna switch to Geodude here just for safety. And we get hit with the Sleep Pattern. Unlucky. But I don't know if Butterfree has Compound Eyes. Uh, and we get Confused. Confused and Slapped. I don't know. I have to fight through the confusion. Unlucky. Is it maybe it only has the poison powders and can supersonic? And the AI is just like I think this is four times effective. I think it just dies. Yeah. That was very strange. Or am I just bad? He just has. He's just bad. Okay, that is a. Forced double battle. Um, okay. I don't... <sighs> He's probably fine to have Mankey out. And I guess we'll just switch out. Um, Beedrill. <sighs> oh boy, battle, double battles. <laughs> Watch this not be a double battle. It isn't a double battle. I'm, I'm just bad at remembering things. Again, you forget how nice it is to have Geodude fighting all these flying and bug types. You're like, oh yeah. Geodude, I think so far out of this Nuzlocke, uh, obviously, Gyarados is good, but I think Geodude is really the standout Pokemon. Like, I don't really use, you know, 
Geodude. It's a Geodude. I don't really know. But um, I'm really liking what I've what I've played with, having rock type moves and and ground too. It's just kind of uh, nice. It's good. And another pitchy. Yep. And there you go. Oh, we're up to 22. No reason to risk anything. We'll just heal up. Two Pokemon, Spiro. And if I gotten super lucky and got a Pikachu, that'd be cool. There's just, I mean, there's just, there's no reason, I mean, like, for experience and whatever, I mean, you could switch into other Pokemon, but, like, there just really isn't a great need. Uh, and I don't think Surge is even that much more powerful, particularly if I'm walking in with two ground-type Pokemon. Uh, I'm really not that concerned about... Actually, and a Fighting-type Pokemon, if I if deal with, like, a Magneton with Levitate or something like that. Um, here we go. Switching to Mankey. Watch him Hyper Fang crit and insta-kill me. You like to see it. 11 damage. I can take one more hit. Okay. Don't need to, though, because I just karate chopped that rat. Boom. Very nice. I believe we've made it to Brilliant City. Alright, we're going to heal up. Normally, I would end it here. Uh, however, I will go back and do that other double battle, which is maybe a double battle or maybe not. Watch it not be a battle at all. It might not be. It's hard to tell in these games. <laughs> Alright. Quit listening in on us. Maybe there just aren't double battles in this game, because this was a remake, so they were like, eh. A Squirtle! Okay. I don't think I have anything to be concerned about other than the 8 level difference. Um, so I obviously don't want to send in Geodude or Charmander. Uh, I guess let's just send in Mankey and Karate Chop. I am faster. That's nice. Why would he go for Bite and not Water Gun? I swear trainer battles in this game is like fighting randos. I'm faster. I kill. Focus energy. I used to think focus energy is okay, but I think it raises critical hit, but the thing with critical hit is it's like a 1 in 16 chance. So you could, again, it's one of those cases where you could just attack twice and have twice, quote-unquote, the chance to crit rather than focus energy, which raises it from, I think, 1 in 16 to 1 in 8. So, uh, I think I'll just keep Leer and what other moves I have. Yeah. No, that's not true. Maybe if I didn't already have Mega Punch, then I would say, okay. Again, this is how I feel about healing items. Why waste the healing items if I can just run two feet back to the Pokemon Center and heal? Even if it's just slightly more cumbersome. 
Uh, it really felt like those two there should have been double battles, but they weren't, so... That's interesting. Alright, final trainer battle. Uh, I'll also get my Rep 5 encounter, because why not? Private conversation. This guy's talking about a lot. I mean, I, I left, I came back, still talking, you know. Have you ever considered talking less? I'm very scared about these Rattatas because of that. I forget if it's high. Yeah, that's the one. I don't like that move. Uh, now he can Super Fang. Um, so when we switch into Geodude for the not very effective. I just got to And we go for, I don't know, Magnitude, because it's funny. Hyper Fang. That's the one. So Super Fang is the one that always does half. Hyper Fang is just a good move. And dead. I swear people have told me that Magnitude is a bad move, but like... I don't know, I've never seen it. And get, get, get walled. Absolutely walled. I don't, also don't mind Geodude getting most of the experience here because uh, he's gonna, he's gonna be instrumental in Surge. Uh, I'm just gonna switch real quick to Gyarados. I don't even know what I can encounter on this route. Probably a Rattata. Who knows? Meowth, I already have a Meowth. And it's higher level than this one. Prepared to taste water pulse. I wonder if the reason they didn't want to give Gyarados uh, uh, a water move early on in his levels, because he was already powerful enough, they're like, he doesn't even need it. Uh, I already have a Pidgey. I'm sure I can probably at least catch a Rattata here. But I'll check after after a few more battles I haven't run into something. Fifteen Pidgey. Timid is a funny ability. didn't get the kill. Let's go for a regular attack roll to save PP. <laughs> and we miss, of course. Of course we miss. Uh-oh. Well, I can always switch. There we go. Don't have to worry about it. Come on. Somebody. And another pitchy. At the very worst, probably maybe catch a tentacruel in the water there. If I have a good enough rod so I can always come back. And do it. It's not like I really need an encounter here anyways. Diglett is mostly what I'm concerned with. That's where you get cut. You get cut from the SSN. Uh, which I do have a ticket for SSN. Don't know where you get Flash though. Maybe somewhere along the way. Maybe the hiker outside the cave gives you flash. I really don't remember. Okay. I don't, I'm not missing anything. And I'm yeah. Go to 22, and then I'll check to see what I can catch on this route. I should check to see if tackle insta-kills things.
I mean, we'd still be fine because I could intimidate and then like switch through like Geodude or something. Let's tackle Insta Kill. No. Okay, tackle should be fine to use. Wow, this is a level 15 to G. Let's try it on the out. And of course you miss. And you miss again. Like, you're, you're not going to do any... I'm not concerned at all about what Pidgey's doing. There we go. You are a fly buzzing around a god. Giant water snake god. Alright, let's check against Meowth to see... It does do a lot of damage, it would probably kill level 10 now, so... It doesn't seem like... Alright, last battle. Doesn't seem like... I'm gonna run into anything. Nope. Please tackle insta-kills. Although it'll definitely probably insta-kill on a level up. Yeah, it does. Twenty-two. I'm assuming that yeah, only five hundred, almost an eighteen hundred. So, Uh, let me check. It's important to check these things. Like that. Uh, maybe a Psyduck or something you can run into. So Rattata's the first one. You cannot catch Rattata here. Uh, who's this first one? Squirtle. And then Ekans is not in this version. Sandshrew? Can't catch Sandshrew here. Can I get a Sandshrew? You can get it on the other route, whatever is on the other side. So I could end up with, like, Sandshrew, Dugtrio, Geodude here. Need a Ram, maybe? No. No, no. Nope. Assuming not. Nope. Oddish? Nope. There's no... Yeah, if I have Mankey, I have this big nope. Missed that encounter. Bell Sprout. I can get a Bell Sprout here, except uh, Duplication Clause says I can't get a Bell Sprout, doesn't it? Slow Poke. I could get a Slow Poke here. Um, although, again, it might be a water thing, we might guess. Grimer, Shelf is Unknown, Onyx, Drowsy, nope. Nope. Coughing. So there's at least some encounter I can get here. Something. Goldeen's another one I could get. So yeah, it's, it's all water Pokemon, is my guess, looking at that. So we'll come back with a better fishing rod. We'll get our encounter next time. Well, I guess apologies then for uh, running a little long with the looking for an encounter there that I couldn't get. So. Although I could have run into a Bellsprout, I never did. So, must just be a low catch chance. Um, yeah, that was Route 5 and 6. 5 and 7. Did they do them in actual order? No, because they do like 20 out of order. Oh no, it is 5 and 6 is how they do it. This is 9 up here. Wacky. Yeah, so that was Route, route 5 and Route 6. Um... Nothing too hard. That 20th Butterfree almost scared me, and then it didn't attack me at all. So, uh, not a lot to be concerned about. Uh, next time, uh, we'll just be a simple running around talking to everybody. I think maybe we get the good rod and do some nice TMs or something. Who knows? Um, yeah, but for this time, uh, that's it. So thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.